everyone. So today I have a first impression for you, another one. Um, basically, I am doing a foundation test out today, and I am testing out Maybelline's Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation. Um, I was going to get their Air Foam or whatever one it was because it looked really cool just to try it out, um, but they did not have a shade pale enough for me and before this video starts this shade is even like the lightest shade it's classic ivory and it's too dark <laughs> so that is the one problem i think that there was another lighter shade available but they were sold out so i figured that this would be good enough anyways pretty much i was one of those jerk customers that went into target like five minutes before they closed but i knew what i wanted so i was in and out but i didn't really have a lot of time to judge um, i knew i needed a new foundation and i like maybelline a lot so i figured might as well pick this up and then at the store, in like the two seconds that I had to decide between colors, that I decided um, the palest color was sold out, but looking at their Fit Me foundation, which I was also thinking, but it, it was a light coverage, I need more of a medium coverage, um, was porcelain, and that was way too pale for me, because I was doing trying to do swatches really fast on my hand in the store. So I just figured that the classic ivory in this would be a good enough shade, and it's just a little too dark. So anyways, if you just want to see what my thoughts of this are, aside from color, about the product, the consistency, how I like it, how it wears, then just keep on watching. Okay, so all that I have on my skin so far is concealer, and I'm also doing a first impression for the Maybelline Dream Lumi. So if you're interested in this, uh, go check out my videos because it's either uploaded or it'll be uploaded within the next two weeks probably so make sure you subscribe so you can be notified if you're interested in seeing how this concealer tests out so that's all that i have on my skin i put a moisturizer on earlier this morning like a couple hours ago and that's it so now i have a feeling that this is going to be too dark for me um yeah so Probably will have to go back and exchange this for a lighter color, but first you might as well just test it out to see if you even like how it wears before you go and get a new color. So since this is a pump, I'm just going to put... Oh. It has a... One thing that I do like about the packaging is that you can twist it so you don't have to worry about stuff pumping out while you're traveling. So you just twist it and then now it should open. Put a little bit on my face. I'm going to take my beauty blender, which is pretty gross. Oh, this is way too dark. Oh, way, way, way too dark. I have to really blend this into my skin. And what's sad is that this is the second lightest shade that they have, or I think this is the lightest shade that they have. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is why I have problems with the drugstore foundations. Oh man. Okay. I was going to get the uh, well, the air foam one, but it said it was very light coverage, and for me, I need more of a light to medium coverage, especially with zits, as this stuff isn't really covering it up too well. I know a lot of people pump it on the back of their hand, but I just, that makes too much of a mess for me. If I know that I'm going to get my hand messy with other things, then I'll do it, but... Okay, so I am not a fan of this foundation at all. Um, I can already say I don't think I'm going to be purchasing this in the right color. Um, I just don't like it. It didn't spread out very nice. Um, to, it says it has an airbrush finish. I don't know if I really agree to that. I don't think that my skin looks flawless like it would if I airbrushed it. Um, you would have to use it in small sections and blend it in and then put like a, another drop down here and blend it in. So it, did, it just didn't really spread nicely and I just don't like the way it was blending. It didn't really cover or conceal anything. Like it barely covered up this red mark right here and then these zits are still pretty like you can obviously you can still see them like the 3D-ness of them but you can still see a lot of the redness and pinkness and I did put it on a little bit thicker around my mouth and it just... I just, I don't like this. I don't like the consistency of the formula at all. I just don't think, I just didn't like this. 
and I just think that this is very very dark for it being a classic ivory color um, I just couldn't believe how dark this was uh, for it being like the one of the lightest shades available that's a problem with the drugstore is that it's very hard to match foundations and a lot of times when I'm doing my own makeup, I find myself mixing and matching with something that's too pale and something that's too dark to try to find the right color consistency. And then even blending this down onto my neck, it like wasn't wanting to like blend out. And I just, I don't like that. I feel like I have blotches on my neck because this just wasn't wanting to blend. And I'm just so unhappy with this right now. And it just, my skin feels very dry after putting this on. Um, I think that when I go back to return this, I'm going to end up having to get the Neutro Neutrogena. Their one foundation is really, really good. And I think I'm going to end up going back to that. And then this is just going to look weird because I didn't want to blend it um, underneath my concealer since I'm doing a first impression of the concealer. So I don't want to have foundation sitting on top of it. But I don't want to have like an awkward, like super bright and then super dark contrast. <laughs> So, uh, it's not just the color, it's just the overall formulation right now. I can tell you I do not like this one bit. So I'm still going to test this foundation out anyways. I already have it on my face. So it is 12.21. I will check back in about two hours or three hours, two and a half hours-ish when I'm out of class to see how I like this. And I just, mmm... I don't really see how this can go up for me from here. So but first, before I come back, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on to see how um, the blush and stuff sits on this. This feels like a little bit tacky, so we'll just see how this all sets into my face in a couple hours. But I'm also gonna put the rest of my makeup on really fast, and then I will be right back to see how the makeup sits on top of the foundation. Okay, so I just wanted to keep my makeup look pretty simple for today. Um, it seemed like the color really seemed to stick to the foundation, which kind of doesn't really surprise me as it wasn't really wanting to spread out. So I kind of had a feeling that this product would stick to it, but we'll see how it holds up throughout the day. What I put on my cheeks was Tarte Amazonian Clay and Exposed is a contour. And then for blush, I used Mary Kay's Sunny Spice which looks like this. This is like a nice fall transition from summer to fall blush, which I like a lot. One of my eyes, I just kept it simple. I put a uh, NYX Jumble Pencil and Milk on my waterline, and I used YDK's eyeshadow from Urban Decay, and I just put that on my lid and in my crease. I only used the one color. And then for my mascara, I used my um, CoverGirl Clump Crusher, and yeah, so I will go ahead and check back when I get out of class to see how this all holds up. Okay, so it's time to check in and see how this foundation is doing. It is now 2.20 p.m. So it's been about two hours since I first applied the foundation and put it on. Um, one thing that I have to say is that you can still see so much redness that is peeking out from like little zip marks that I have and... I am not happy <laughs> about that. Um, the foundation feels, it feels like a little tacky still. Like where I don't have the powder and stuff on, like right underneath my chin. And it's come off, it has come off a little bit on my fingers from me touching it. So I don't really like that it's like tacky and sticky on my face because that means that it can easily like rub off on my clothes and you don't want your foundation to be staining anything, especially if you're wearing white or something light colored, or even if you're wearing darker colors, your foundation would still show up. So you don't have to worry about, like, you just don't want to worry about your foundation rubbing off onto your clothing or onto your scarf or jacket or anything like that. So I'm also not liking that. Um, I will say that this feels like it's sitting heavy on my skin, especially like on my forehead area, on my chin, and then like over, not so much on my cheeks because I, I think it's because I have the powder and stuff sitting on there and it might have gotten blended in more because it doesn't feel sticky or tacky at all where I have the contour and blush, but everywhere else it's still pretty tacky. Um, 
for it feeling as heavy as, as it does on my skin, I would expect this to be more of a full coverage foundation. And um, I just feel like the coverage doesn't match the heaviness that feels on my skin right now. But one positive thing that I do have to say about the foundation is that I don't really notice a whole lot of cakiness. Um, I think that you could build this up a little bit. It looks like it settled into my line that I have right there. Um, settle, starting to settle into some of the lines that are around my mouth, but as far as cakiness goes, because my skin is combination and I have patches of dry skin, so right around here is always my problem area where I have to barely put any foundation on because if I do, it looks cakey. Like I can barely put any on and my face looks cakey, but I can't really say that I have this problem with that foundation. So that is one good thing about this. Um, I would say that the blush and stuff that I put on is still staying on pretty well. So that is it for right now and I will check back again in the next couple of hours. Hey everyone, so I just figured I would do one more check in while there was still some daylight out. So as you can see it's a lot darker in here. It is 7.13 p.m. So I've had this foundation on for about seven hours now and there is a lot of redness back into my face and it's not just from the blush. Um, I can say that like the contour and blush color really held up, but it's more so back here where I had the contour color. I can't really say that there's much of the blush that's still left on my cheekbones or yeah, and the apples on my cheeks or anything. Um, there is so much redness <laughs> where my zits and stuff were. Like they're just not even covered up whatsoever anymore than even the little ones that were concealed pretty well. I can see very apparently now. Um, and then it also just seems like the foundation is just starting to get like goopy like increases like around my nose like there's just so much and it's just rubbing off on my fingers. Um, I can definitely see that it's like settled more into my skin, not in a good way. Um, I just can definitely see a lot more of the freckles and stuff on my nose, those weren't noticeable e earlier. Um, I definitely uh, don't really care for this in case if you couldn't tell, especially wearing it throughout the day. There's just, it isn't giving me the coverage that I quite hope for and that I need for it to say, I could understand if it was like a light coverage foundation, like that would be expected, but it said it was like more on the medium side of coverage. And for me, this is not medium coverage foundation. Um, I already had decided after I put it on that I needed to return it because of the color and I'm just full on going to exchange it for something else. I think um, I'm just not too thrilled with how this looks. I can sort of see more like the pores and stuff um, on my forehead and like right here where I normally have the issues where it was covered up earlier but then again I have been wearing this for seven hours and it doesn't really say that it's a long wear foundation so it's expected for it, some of it to mostly be like worn off throughout the day but I will do one last final check in later on at the end of the night with some final thoughts. Okay everyone, so it's the end of the night for me, or just about anyways, it is now 9.20pm and my face is super shiny. Um, maybe it was shiny earlier because when I did the last update I was still trying to use a bit of a natural light so the video would look better, but it was too dark for that anyways, I looked too dark in that frame. So I don't think I could really tell how shiny my face is. Oh my gosh, my forehead's shiny, my nose is the shiniest, and my chin is super shiny. Um, so needless to say, I am just not a fan whatsoever with this foundation. The only thing I can really think to recommend to you is if you are very lucky and you don't have major breakouts and you have a pretty even skin tone to begin with, then this would be something that's good because it doesn't, since it doesn't provide much coverage, you just need something, like a little bit of something, then this would be something that you would want to check out. Um, but you also, and there's definitely just lines around my nose of like foundation lines, so I don't really like how it seems to have slid around on my skin. So I just, I don't even know if I would recommend that for people. 
and then today even with my eyeshadow you can see that there's a line for my crease like there's a line in my eyeshadow from having this foundation on I just I just don't I take that back I don't recommend this to anyone um, yeah as unfortunate as it is having acne I feel like that's one of the best times to try out new foundation so you can see like how well your foundation is really covering your skin and it's important because you actually want your foundation to be covering your skin when you're having troubles like I am currently so anyways I'm just I'm not a fan of this foundation even if it was in my correct shade I would still be taking it back and getting something else instead so I hope maybe you found this helpful. I feel bad when a product doesn't work out, but I mean, it just, there wasn't really anything that I liked about this except for it not looking cakey on my skin, and that was about the only thing. So I hope you found this helpful, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!